The Pine Tree Parable by Liz Curtis Higgs and illustrated by Nancy Munger. Every spring the farmer planted flowers. Every summer he grew fruits and vegetables. Every fall the harvest he harvested bright orange pumpkins. As long as the earth continues, there will be planting and harvest, cold and hot, summer and winter. Genesis 8.22 And every day of every year, the farmer grew the tallest, widest, biggest, greenest, loveliest crops of all, Christmas trees. Isaiah 44.14 says he plants a pine tree, and the rain makes it grow. The farmer and his wife began planting seedlings when their children were small. Each year the family grew, so did the little pine trees. The trees were quiet. The children were noisy, but the farmer's wife loved everything that grew on the farm. Psalm 127.3 says children are a gift from the Lord. One chilly November day, the time finally came to sell the pine trees to the neighbors. People bought the fine-looking trees, which soon filled many homes with the fragrance of Christmas. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to help him be stronger in faith, says Romans 15.2. But the farmer's wife couldn't bear to part with one remarkable tree. It stood very tall and perfectly straight. Its long branches danced on the wintry air. The farmer's wife hung a tag on the pine tree, not for sale. She added a shiny gold star on top. Now the family could enjoy the tree day after day, year after year, Christmas after Christmas. Ezekiel 31.7 says, So the tree was great and beautiful, with its long branches. Its roots reached down to many waters. The next holiday season brought more neighbors to the farm. The perfect tree was taller than ever. So the tree was taller than all the other trees of the field. Ezekiel 31.5 When the neighbors asked, Oh, how much for this beautiful tree? The farmer's wife just smiled and shook her head. Sorry, not for sale. Job 28.19 says it cannot even be bought with the purest gold. One Christmas Eve, when the farmer's children were children no longer, a family of three drove up in a rusty old truck. Their clothes were patched, and their faces looked tired. Matthew 26.11 says you will always have the poor with you. They trudged up and down a row of trees that no one else wanted. The trees had missing branches and crooked trunks. Those trees were free. They were the only kind of Christmas tree the family could afford. The rich and the poor are alike in that the Lord made them all says Proverbs 22.2. The little child found her way to the tallest pine tree. She stood at the foot of it, looking up, up through the sweeping branches to the glistening star on top. Oh my, she sang out, can we buy this one? Her parents were embarrassed. They knew they could never afford it. The farmer's family were also embarrassed. They knew too. But the little girl didn't know the cost. She only knew it was the most wonderful pine tree in the world. Please, was all she could say. It is sad when you don't get what you hoped for, says Proverbs 13, 12. The little girl was so poor, yet so full of hope. What could the farmer's wife say to her? What could she do? Matthew 18, 5 says, Whoever accepts a little child in my name accepts me. The farmer's wife took a deep breath. I'm sorry, she said, this tree is not for sale, but we'd like you to have it as a gift. Being kind to the poor is like lending to the Lord. The Lord will reward you for what you have done. Proverbs 19:17. The little girl's parents could not speak a word. What a kind and generous gift. The farmer's wife did not even know them. They were strangers. Galatians 5.14 says the whole law is made complete in this one command, love your neighbor as you love yourself. The farmer smiled at his wife. Well done. His smile seemed to say, the gift is good. Each one should give then.
what he has decided in his heart to give. God loves the person and gives happily. 2 Corinthians 9, 7 As the farmer took his saw to the bottom of the trunk, the child could not keep her joy inside. She leaped up and down, Hooray! Hooray! The tree is ours! Proverbs 13, 12 says when wishes come true, it's like eating fruit from the tree of life. The farmer's wife watched her favorite pine tree as it fell to the snowy ground. Tears shone in her eyes. She brushed them away like snowflakes. Yes, it was a great sacrifice, but it brought even greater joy. Isn't that just like Christmas? 2 Corinthians 8, 9 says you know that Christ was rich, but for you he became poor. Christ died so that his being poor, you might become rich. The end.